Chapter 590 Desperate Straits. Xu Sanchi didn't have the guess to know that some of these powerful individuals before him were from the Sun Moon Empire. Else, it would have been impossible for those two provincial governors to gather so many powerful people. After all, Xu Sanchi and his peers were going up against five titled duo, and a huge number of soul duo and soul sages. On the other hand, there were only six people in total on Xu Sanchi's side. The only real title duo they had was Yu Duyi. It was obvious that this would be a one sided affair if they were to fight with them. The only way for them to survive was to break out of their encirclement. Xu Sanchi took a step back and used his body to shield his mother. Even though Shui Lunchen was a princess, her cultivation was not particularly high. She was only able to attain the rank of a soul emperor even with her royal bloodline and the wealth of resources at her disposal. She was definitely the weakest one among all of them. Xu Sanchi lowered his head and said, Mother, I need you to climb onto my back. Today, both of us will live and die together. Shui Lunchen seemed to be enraged by his words. What are you talking about? Just leave me and break out on your own. I don't need all of you to protect me. Leave now. Sanchi, take your friends and leave now. While they were speaking, Shui Kui, Shui Ling and the people they had brought along with them had begun to attack them. The five titled duos split up at the same time as they covered five different directions. The rest of the soul duo and soul sages surrounded Shu Sanchi and his peers. Yu Gui's eyes revealed a golden glow as the wings behind her gently flapped. Following which, she released a powerful holy aura as the nine soul rings on her body started to radiate an intense glow. It was apparent that both Shui Kui and Shui Ling had gained the upper hand from the current look of things. However, all of them knew that they could not afford to become complacent. This was because Shu Sanchi and his friends were from Shrek Academy. As long as one of them was able to escape, they would all die when he or she managed to get help from the academy. Hence, they knew that they had to keep all of them here at all costs. The titled duo assassin who had struck earlier suddenly vanished into thin air. It was apparent that he had used some sort of ability to conceal himself. The other four titled duo the four different cardinal directions as they released their martial souls after taking up their positions. The title duo they were facing directly had a lion as his martial soul. The lion was radiating an intense fiery light. It was probably a wild flame lion. It was apparent that he was an assault soul master. The two title duo on their left and right looked almost exactly the same. They were actually twins, and they wielded the same long pole, which was probably their martial souls. The soul master at their backs looked a little strange. He was more than twice the size of an average human. He was more than three meters tall and was incredibly muscular. In fact, he did not even look like a human, and this was before he had even unleashed his martial soul. Based on Shu Sanchi's experience, he could tell straight away that this was a defensive soul master who specialized in power and strength. His main objective was to make sure that none of them could escape out the back. Even though there were no control soul masters, the most frightening kind of soul master among them, it seemed like they would be more than sufficient to deal with Shu and his friends. The wild lion Dolo, who was before them, laid out a deafening roar as his long hair took on a fiery red color. Following which, his thick mane expanded as dense fire type elemental fluctuations swept towards the six of them. At this instant, the two titled Dolo at the side also made their move. The poles in their hands suddenly expanded as they raised them high up in the air. After they had completed their transformation to become two gigantic pillars, the two titled Dolo slammed them down to the ground. If only Yuao were here, this was a thought which everyone shared at this instant. If only Yuao were here, they would not fear this battle at all. Even if he didn't participate directly, they would be a lot less fearful with him around to command them, even if they were outnumbered by their enemies. Unfortunately, Huo Yuao was not here. They could only rely on their abilities. Shu Sanchi let out a low growl as his body expanded. At the very next instant, he released a golden glow as the swan shield took on a brilliant golden color. Golden tortoise's possession. The first person on their side to make a move was Yu Duyi. She leapt and sought upwards as she spread the wings behind her back, following which, one would notice the countless golden sparkling particles which were concentrating towards her body. Very soon, a golden holy sword appeared in her hand. At this instant, Yu Duyi looked just like a god who had descended from the skies. As she slashed her holy sword forward, a streak of golden light ripped apart the flames that were coming their way, following which, the sharp sword light raced towards the wild lion below. She did not seem to be concerned about the two gigantic pillars which were coming their way from the sides. At this instant, a rose-colored light suddenly lit up, but it did not directly participate directly in Yu Duyi's attack. Instead, it fused into the holy angel from the back before disappearing. Shu Sanchi suddenly tossed his swan shield upwards, following which, it transformed into a formation of shields which protected the group of people from the incoming pillars. Shu Sanchi also released his intense and viscous swan was domain to envelop himself and his peers. As long as the domain was present, the assassin who was hiding nearby would find his movement restricted. At the same time, all their enemies' attacks would be weakened and slowed. Even though they were going up against so many powerful opponents at once, the people from the tank sector were able to fight against them in an organized manner without panicking. The wild lion Dolo let out a low growl before he punched both of his fists forward. At the same time, his second, third, and fourth soul rings all lit up together. Only a title Dolo would be able to execute three soul skills together seamlessly. The flames on his body instantly turned blue. As he punched his fists outwards, the image of a blue lion's head surged towards Yudu's sword light. When the image collided with the sword light, the lion's head suddenly froze in midair. Following which, the blue image turned pink before vanishing into thin air. Following which, the holy sword sword light instantly reached the wild lion Dolo. Huh. The wild lion Dolo gasped in surprise as he quickly retreated. While his massive body suddenly contracted, he released an angry roar towards Yu and the rest. At this instant, his head turned into a lion's head as his sixth soul ring lit up. A vortex gushed out from the image's mouth and blocked the holy sword's sword light before it started to grind the sword light away at an incredible speed. Just when it seemed like the wild lion Dolo's vortex had successfully blocked the holy sword's attack, the wild lion Dolo felt an inexplicable sense of fear in his heart. This was a fear that originated from deep within his spirit. Shit. A matte black sword light suddenly appeared at this very instant. The position where this sword light appeared was very obscure, because of how bright the holy sword sword light was. The wild lion Dolo was not able to notice the black sword light. However, just when he thought his lion roar had blocked the holy sword sword light, the matte black sword light went straight for him. What is that? It's so sharp. His lion's roar was instantly sliced apart when it came into contact with the black sword light. Even though the energy within the lion roar had reduced the power within the holy sword sword light, the white sword light was still invincibly sharp. After destroying his sixth soul skill, the black sword light intertwined with the holy sword sword light as they surged towards the wild lion Dolo. At this instant, the wild lion Dolo broke out into a cold sweat. Everything was happening too quickly. Even though the wild lion Dolo was in charge of the front, he was only supposed to feint an attack. The actual plan was for everyone to execute a soul skill that was supposed to be enough to destroy all of them. They had all agreed to defeat the group of people from the tank sect in a stable manner at minimal cost. On top of that, because of the advantage they had in their collective strength, they were fairly confident about their chances of winning. However, they had not expected the tank sect's people to be able to release so much power at once. Even though they only had six people, three of them had come together to attack the front. Right now, it was already too late for the wild lion Dolo to use unleash his martial soul true body. He could only let out a low growl as he released his eighth soul skill as quickly as possible. He wanted to use his powerful soul skill to attempt to block the sword lights coming his way. However, at this instant, Yu Duyi spread her wings out to their maximum before releasing a bright screen in the air. Suddenly, the sky above them was ripped apart, following which, a beam of holy light shone down onto the wild lion Dolo from the sky. This was an attack the wild lion Dolo would never have been able to avoid. He felt his body tighten as the soul power within him began to burn furiously. The most frightening thing was how his eighth soul skill was interrupted just like that. Holy light illumination. This was one of Yu Duyi's soul skills which had evolved after she had added some of the new
even recognize her martial soul. He only saw how many feathers it had, and had no idea what it was. After all, not every soul master had the privilege of studying within Shrek Academy. They would definitely not have the same kind of exposure that the students had. Hence, the wild lion Dolo was bound to pay the price for underestimating Yugi once she released her powers for real. However, a golden light was automatically released at this instant. It seemed like the wild lion Dolo was actually in possession of an invincible barrier. However, invincible barriers were not that useful in battles between titled Dolo. His invincible barrier was shattered almost instantly by the black and white sword lights. After shattering the barrier, the remaining streaks of sword light landed on the wild lion Dolo, whose soul skill had been interrupted earlier. The wild lion Dolo grunted as a wound formed across his chest. He was fortunate enough to possess a fairly strong amount of soul power and an invincible barrier. If not, he would have suffered a far more serious injury. However, at this instant, the angel Dulo, Yugi Yi, was already in berserk mode. She released another layer of brilliant golden light, which started to expand from her body into her surroundings. It looked like she was establishing a gigantic golden barrier around her peers. This was because Shui Kui, Shui Leng, and the soul masters they had brought along with them had released their ranged soul skills while she was fighting the wild lion Dolo. Even though these soul skills were not particularly strong individually, their powers became significant when combined. It was still fairly threatening when so many people were to launch an attack at them. Under such circumstances, Yugi Yi had no choice but to establish some defensive measures. All surrounding ranged attacks were immediately reflected the moment they came into contact with her golden light. When the golden light eventually gave way, all the remaining attacks were either deflected or blocked by the last ounce of power within the golden barrier. Even the two gigantic pillars released by the title Dolo at the side were slowed by the barrier before they landed on Shu Sanchi's shield wall. Instantly, a loud thud could be heard as the shield wall shook vigorously. Shu Sanchi let out a grunt, but he ultimately managed to block the gigantic beams. It seemed like the group had managed to hold off the first combined attacks from their opponents with the collective defensive powers of Shu Sanchi and Yu Gui. On the other hand, Yu Gui had only just started. Just now, the barrier she had released was her own soul skill, holy light spiritual formation. Following which, her entire body took on a brilliant golden color. As the golden light intensified, she looked as though she had been carved out of pure gold. At the same time, the wings behind her back had also taken on the same color. This was her seventh soul skill, angel true body. At this instant, it seemed as though the holy angel had just descended from the world of the gods. Her powerful holy aura was released into her surroundings, and her opponents could immediately feel an immense pressure from her aura. Following which, her eighth soul ring lit up. A golden figure instantly split from her body, and at the next instant, it had appeared behind the wild lion Dolo. After being interrupted by Yugi Yi's soul skill, the wild lion Dolo was trying to unleash his seventh soul skill, his martial soul true body. However, he found himself immobilized the minute the golden angel appeared behind him. The wild lion Dolo felt as though his entire soul had been locked in position at that instant. He tried his best to resist that mysterious force. However, he was unable to break free from it. Following which, the golden image fused directly into the wild lion Dolo's body. At the very instant, the wild lion Dolo's body turned golden. As he breathed in and out, golden streaks of air were released from his nostrils and mouth. Everyone who was standing by the wild lion Dolo was scared out of their wits by this frightening sight. At this instant, a streak of matte black sword light flashed across the crowd. It seemed as though the surrounding space was frozen at that moment. Following which, everyone could hear a cry from a soul Dolo. When they turned around to see what had happened to him, they saw that his body had been sliced in two. On the battlefield, the sword fanatic, with his frightening sword intent, was always the person with the strongest attacking power. Shi Juikin had drawn first blood when he released his explosive fighting power. Even though Shui and Shui Leng had retreated from them, they could not help be shocked by how Shu Sanchi's friend was able to kill their soul masters even after being surrounded by so many powerful soul masters. At that moment, they truly understood what it meant to be a graduate of Shrek Academy. After all, they had learned from their investigation that Shu Sanchi was one of this generation's Shrek Seven monsters. After successfully slaying someone with a single blow, Shi Juikin slashed his judgment sword outwards again. Even though he did not manage to kill someone this time, he was able to force a good number of them backward. As the intense battle unfolded, the wild lion Dolo suddenly released a loud howl. His body suddenly released a blast of golden light. It was almost as if his soul had been stripped from his body. His pupils turned completely white as his body vibrated intensely. Huge amounts of fire type soul power was out from his pores before blood started to flow out from everywhere. A title Dolo was actually unable to defend himself after being hit by this soul skill. This was simply unimaginable. Every single soul master was stunned after seeing what had happened to the wild lion Dolo. They could only tell that it was a result of Yugi's eighth soul skill, Angel of Death. After the wild lion Dolo had released all of the golden energy from his body, he started to burn in the golden light, which had transformed into a gigantic beam of light. The beam surged up into the sky as the wild lion Dolo screamed in the burning light. No matter how hard he tried, he was unable to escape from the light. Yugi released another wave of holy light spiritual formation to negate the bulk of the attacks being launched at them. Following which, Yugi released an explosive amount of golden light again. Pairs of golden wings spread themselves one after another on her martial soul true body as her ninth soul ring lit up. At this instant, Shui Leng and Shui Kui started to become genuinely frightened. She's just too scary. Why does she have so much power when she seems to be only 20 years old? What kind of ability is she unleashing? Her eighth soul skill was already enough to destroy a title Dolo. What would happen if she unleashes her ninth soul skill? Yugi six pairs of wings doubled instantly as they increased from the original six pairs to twelve pairs. Her aura continued to surge until it reached a frightening level of power. Even though she was releasing the same holy light spiritual formation, the soul masters with seven or eight rings were no longer able to damage her light barrier with their collective attacks. Her frightening abilities had already exceeded what these Dolin Empire soul masters could have imagined. To be honest, Shui Kui and Shui Leng had actually done proper research on Shu Sanchi and his peers before they had begun their operation. They believed they had a decent understanding of their abilities. However, they had not expected this group of youthful individuals, whose oldest person was at most thirty years old, to be so powerful. They were especially shocked by Yugi Yi because they did not expect her to be the strongest individual amongst the group. In fact, they did not even know that she was a title Dolo, much less a title Dolo who was so powerful. Now that Yugi Yi had twelve pair of wings, what did that mean? It meant that she was now an archangel. She was no longer mortal and had developed godlike powers. Hence, Yugi Yi's ninth soul skill was called Archangel's Descent, which was also known as the God of Angels. An insane amount of golden light was released from her body. She could only unleash and maintain this soul skill for ten seconds. However, she was able to wield power which could almost rival an ultimate Dolo during those ten seconds. When she eventually became a transcendent Dolo, the duration would be extended to thirty seconds. Even though one would not be able to do much in ten seconds, it was definitely sufficient to kill a good number of people. As the holy sword appeared in the archangel's hand, Yugi slashed the sword forward as streaks of holy light rippled into her surroundings. The two titled Dolo at the side who were wielding their poles received the most damage from the holy light. They could only try their best to use their martial soul true bodies to counter the holy light that shone onto them. By fusing into their long poles, they fought with their lives to counter the prowess of the holy sword. When the holy light ended, only half of their long poles remained intact. The other half had been completely destroyed by the holy light. In fact, there were more than six soul masters who were completely purified by the holy light. The title Dolo at their rear was also knocked away by the powerful light from the holy sword. They would never have expected one person's explosive attack to be so powerful. Run now. Shu Sanchi explained, following which, a golden light flashed, and he swapped positions. When he reappeared, he was standing beside Shui Kui. On the other hand, Shui Leng had been displaced to where Shu Sanchi was. Jiang Nanan was already waiting for Shui
she started to charge outwards. A gigantic soft tendon python separated itself from Jiang Nanan's body as it wrapped itself around Shui Ling, following which, she held Shui Ling as her hostage and raised him up, forcing the Soul Masters to stay back. After which, she started to dash out from the back. In the meantime, Nan Kyukai's eighth soul ring lit up. She gave a cold stare as a gigantic image of her rouge dragon formed behind her back. The rouge dragon opened its mouth and released several pink balls of light, which exploded in the air one after another as they made sure no one could go after them. The eighth soul skill of the rouge dragon annihilation martial soul, annihilation tempest. The frightening power of annihilation blocked all the soul skills that were being thrown at them from their backs. One soul sage who was rushing towards them went straight into the annihilation tempest and disappeared without leaving a trace. Shui Lan Shen was not stupid. She knew that such opportunities were hard to come by as she dashed out behind Ji Jiu again. Once again, Yu Yu swept the holy sword in her hand horizontally as the holy light spiritual formation spread out to her surroundings again. Even though the god of angels had ended, Yu Yu's final holy light spiritual formation was enough to send the remaining title Dulor and Soul Masters flying after it expanded into its surroundings. Nan Kyukai immediately appeared beneath Yu Yu as Yu Yu fell from the sky. The twelve pairs of wings behind her back had vanished as she dropped onto Nan Kyukai's back. Right now, her face was unbelievably pale. After all, she had only become a title Dulor not too long ago, and her powers had not yet fully stabilized. On top of that, the god of angels was a terribly demanding soul skill. Hence, she must have expended a lot of soul power to support her powerful attacks. After unleashing that soul skill, she was definitely out of gas for the short term. However, she had managed to clear a path for everyone with the explosive powers she had displayed. Just after Nan Kyukai adjusted Yu Yu's position on her back, a black figure suddenly appeared behind her. The figure was wielding onto a dark purple dagger as he attempted to plunge the dagger into Yu Yu's back. By now, their opponents had unanimously decided that Yu Yu, the person who possessed the mysterious angel martial soul, was the biggest threat. It was precisely because of her that they were unable to gain an upper hand over Shu Sanchi and his friends. Hence, the assassin had decided to get rid of her first. In fact, this assassin, who was also a titled Dulo, had been hiding for a long time. Right now, after seeing how an opportunity had presented itself to him, he finally made his move. However, just when he was about to successfully stab Yu Yu, a figure suddenly appeared between him and Yu Yu. This figure released a powerful golden glow that managed to block him. The person who had helped Yu Yu block the dagger was none other than Jang Nanan. She had used her fourth soul skill, Invincible Golden Body. While the titled Dulo was momentarily stunned, a gigantic pink hand appeared before him. It was the hand of annihilation. Nan Kyukai was enraged by what the assassin had tried to do, and immediately unleashed an attack at him, following which, Jang Nanan's soft tendon python was also released in his direction right after the hand of annihilation. The python was able to use all of Jang Nanan's soul skills. That was what made it so powerful. To be honest, Jang Nanan's spirit was the most practical amongst all of them. The soft tendon python swept its gigantic body sideways to force the assassin back. Even though the hand of annihilation had been neutralized, it had bought precious time for the group. At the end of the day, the palace was within Doling City, the capital of the Doling Empire. Even though they had employed soul tools to conceal the explosive battles which had unfolded within the palace, they would still have a chance of surviving once they escaped from where they were. As long as they could alert the troops who were stationed around the palace, they had no need to fear these enemies. Shu Sanchi slammed his shield angrily at the wall as he knocked down a huge patch of the wall of the newly rebuilt palace. Shu Sanchi had never wanted to let Shui Kui go. With his current cultivation, Shui Kui was nothing in his eyes. A normal soul sage had no chance of resisting a soul duo trained by Shrek Academy. On top of that, Shu Sanchi had almost attained the rank of a title duo, and there was a reason why he was called the Eternal Defense. Shu Sanchi raised his huge hands before sweeping them at Shui Kui. This was the mutated ability of the Swanwood displacement. As the golden tortoise behind him flashed with golden light, a gigantic golden hand appeared on Shui Kui's body before reeling him backward in a violent motion. However, at this instant, Shui Kui's and Shui Ling's bodies suddenly released a similar glow. Two streaks of silver light flashed as both of them vanished at the same time. Teleportation. When did they get a hold of this kind of soul skill? No, that can't be it. It didn't seem like a soul skill. It seemed more like the power of a soul tool. Shu Sanchi was startled by what he had just seen. However, he knew that now was not the time to worry about it. He believed that he ought to dash out first. As he raised the swan wish shield in his hand, he tried to dash out of the hall. As long as he was able to leave this compound, there was a chance he could call for help from the army. However, just when he had taken a step forward, he was thrown back into the hall at the next instant. A low humming sound could be heard as a bright orange light illuminated the hall. Class 9 soul engineer. There's a class 9 soul engineer outside. Shu Sanchi growled angrily. At this instant, his other companions led by Ji Juikin had arrived by his side. They arrived just in time to watch him get knocked back. After hearing Shu Sanchi mention a class 9 soul engineer, a grave look formed on everyone's faces. If they were going for a one-on-one -on -one battle, Shu Sanchi would not have feared a class 9 soul engineer. After all, he would definitely be able to put up with the soul engineer's attacks with his powerful defensive abilities, even if he were not able to triumph over him. On the other hand, he might just be able to take down the class 9 soul engineer if an opportunity arose. However, the situation before them was completely different. After all, there were so many soul masters against them. Even though the wild lion Dulua had died, there were still four titled Dulua in the hall. While two of them might have been injured and weakened by Yu Yi, they still had a fair amount of fighting power. Besides, they still had an assassin who was also a titled Dulua, as well as a titled Dulua who specialized in defense. Now that a class 9 soul engineer was waiting for them outside the hall, it was near impossible for them to escape. How? What are we going to do? After releasing a series of powerful attacks, Yu Yi's soul power had been completely sapped. Even though the others still had a substantial amount of soul power, it was going to be very difficult for them to repeat their previous performance. Now that Yu Yi had lost her fighting power and they had to protect the relatively weaker Shui Lunshin, things had started to look very bad for them. Shui Lang's cold voice could be heard from the outside. All of you are going to die here. If not for my teacher's teleportation bag, all of you might just have been able to escape successfully. However, we have planned for the worst. Hence, all of you are bound to die here. Kill them all. They're out of energy. Right now, there were still more than 20 soul masters alive. The assassin had also revealed himself as the four titled Dulu gathered the soul masters towards the group of individuals from the Tang sect. A look of despair started to form on Shu Sanchi's and his friends' faces. Nan Kyukai gritted her teeth as she put Yu Yu down onto the floor gently, following which, she put on her icy war god's armor. Even though her icy war god's armor could not be compared to Hua Yuao's, it was still able to give her powers which would put her almost on par with the titled Dulu. Shui Lun Shin might not possess a wealth of battle experience, but she still knew what to do right now. She understood that she would only burden the team if she were to try to get herself involved in the fighting. Hence, she stepped back to look after Yu Yi. Right now, Yu Yi was sitting on the ground with her legs crossed. She was holding two milk bottles and completely ignoring everything that was happening around her. She was trying her best to recover as much soul power as possible. It was already quite difficult to break out from their encirclement right now. All they could do was to try and win their fight with these enemies. It seemed like the class 9 soul engineer was not planning on coming in. After all, it was best for him to fight in a spacious environment. It was definitely not wise to fight a powerful soul master within a confined space like a hole. On top of that, everyone believed that the soul masters inside would be sufficient to deal with the remaining people from the Tang sect. Shu Sanchi revealed a cold look on his face as he wielded his swan shield and moved in front of Nan Kyukai. Ji Juikin and Nan Kyukai stood by his side, while Jiang Nanan stood right behind him. The four of them had taken up positions to form a simple
overwhelm and kill them. Their tactic was truly vicious and powerful. After all, the group from the Tang sects could not even retreat. All sorts of strange and peculiar martial soldiery bodies started to form before their eyes as the atmosphere got even tenser. Shu Sanchi's body radiated a powerful glow as the Swan Wu shield in his hand radiated a brilliant golden glow. As long as his opponents made their move, he would instantly unleash his Swan Wu true body. He was confident that he would be able to hold off his enemies' attacks for a substantial amount of time with his Swan Wu true body. After all, they did not call him the eternal defense for nothing. While they wanted to kill their enemies, they were not sure how many they could take down before the enemies killed them. Since they might not be able to leave, they had decided to take down as many of their enemies as possible. Just when the battle was about to break out between both parties, a cry could be heard from the outside the hall. Huh. After hearing the sound, a worried expression formed on the four titled duo's faces. After all, everyone in Shu Sanchi's group was in the hole. The only possible source of the scream was from their own people. That also meant that Shu Sanchi's reinforcements could have arrived. Under such circumstances, none of them dared to withhold any of their powers. The four titled duo let out a battle cry in unison as they charged towards Shu Sanchi. The soul sages and soul duo behind them also released their soul skills with every ounce of strength they had in their bodies. At that very instant, all sorts of soul skills swarmed towards Shu Sanchi from all directions. After all, Shu Sanchi was the only one with respectable defensive power. The rest of them might be strong offensively, but they were definitely not as skilled as Shu Sanchi in terms of defensive power. After Shu Sanchi was taken down, they would definitely be able to kill the rest of them in no time. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.